All right, now let's see question number six. Find the two by two matrix that represents a rotation through 90 degree clockwise about zero, zero. Now for this question, all you had to do was remember the two by two matrix and first of all, memorize it and remember it, which was zero, one, minus one, zero. And you have to learn a few, few of them. And if you still don't have the notes of it, I will still show you in the end of the video and you can pause the video and write them for yourself and memorize them and reproduce it in the exam. So this question should not be fine because we don't have to find. All we had to do was write. Okay, anyways. Now let's see question number seven. James buy a drink for two euros. Work out the cost of the drink in pounds. Okay, when uh, one pound was equals to 1.252 euros and give your answer correct to two decimal places whenever I get a question like uh, for conversions it is I always solve it by the what do we call the ratio method okay which is very simple this is my what was the rate was one pound was 1.252 he bought a drink for two euros and they are asking for the pounds which is my x all I will do is cross multiply okay so it will be 1.252 times x is equals to 2 times 1 which is obviously 2 and then this was being multiplied to remove the multiply we will divide both sides 1.252 and 1.252 here and this will be cancelled. We will have x is equals to 2 over 1.25. 2 over 1.252, which is 1.597. 1.597, and so on. Because the answer required me to write to two decimal places, I will show at least three. And then I will round the final answer to three decimal oh sorry to two decimal place which will be 1.60 okay and if anybody has problems with rounding let me know in the comments now question number eight work out sorry without using a calculator work out how can I miss the bold one work out 1 and 7 over 8 divide by 5 over 9 to divide or multiply we have to change the mixed fraction into improper which is very simple we multiply these two and the answer we will add okay so first we will multiply and the answer we will add so 8 times 1 is 8 plus 7 is 15 the base never ever changes okay and then it was divide 5 over 9 now to make the question easy, we change the divide sign into multiply. Because we have switched the divide sign, we'll switch this fraction upside down. And now it's very simple. All we have to do is multiply it very, very straight. Five, oh sorry, 15 times 19 is 135. Let me check first. 15 times 9, yeah, it's 135. 8 times 40, eight, sorry, 8 times 5 is 40 and they said show all your working which we are give your answer as a fraction yes in its lowest term this is not the lowest term you can use your calculator some of them show the lowest terms and or you can use your brain yeah you can do that too in other words we can divide both of them by 5 here and here and this will be 27 and this will be 8 it's exactly the same thing question number 9 solve the equation 3 oh that's looks simple and so this will be 3 will be multiplied with x first and then with the 4 same thing 2 here and then 2 will be multiplied with negative 1 so 3 times x is 3x and 3 times 4 is 12 positive and then 2 times 4 is 8 and x and then 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. Let me take the x on one hand side and the numbers on the other hand side. Okay. So I will take this 3 on the right hand side and this 2 on the left hand side. Always move the numbers right side of the equation. Okay. So for example here it was 
positive 12 now on the right side I will write positive 2 I will not write it here okay you may think it doesn't make any difference but it will make some difference when both signs are negative okay now positive 2 came here here it was negative here it became positive is equals to 8x and this was positive here on the right hand side it will become a negative it will become 14 and 8 minus 3 is obviously 5 now to remove the multiple I will divide both sides by 5 and 14 divided by 5 14 divided by 5 will give me 2.8 2.8 well, let's see the next question which is number 10 in a sale the cost of a coat is reduced from 85 to 67 0 0.50 calculate the percentage reduction in the cost of the code now for the percentage reduction or for the percentage uh, for the percentage yeah for the percentage reduction or increase all you have to do is remember the formula how much it has well, if you, they are asking how much of the percentage has been lowered or increased all you have to do is find the difference divided by whatever the value they say from okay if they say from 2013 to 2014 so it means 2013's value will come here okay so it's usually the old value okay so the difference is very simple is it 85 minus 67.5 and from it was 85 okay and times this by a hundred to get the percentage which will be let me do it 85 minus 67.5 over 85 and I get 20.588 20.588 and to three significant figures it will be 20.6 okay now for the notes which I just said I will show you in the at the end of the video let me just open that page yeah so for reflection if it, the reflection is in the x-axis it will be this one in the y-axis it will be this one if the reflection is in the line y equals to x it will be this one for the rotation we had it was clockwise okay this value these values are given for anti-clockwise so for the clockwise 90 degree actually it was this one okay because this is for anti-clockwise so just be careful okay this is anti-clockwise values for clockwise it will be the opposite okay for 180 it will remain the same so this is for also for 90 degree clockwise exactly the same thing okay you can pause this and just write it in your own notebook to memorize them and reproduce them reproduce them in the exam